Hello everybody! My name is Answerplum and welcome back to Let's Play Victoria 2 episode 10 at this point. We've hit double digits. Kind of crazy. Kind of crazy here. I think that it's almost it's been almost five hours. I don't know how long it's how long in total it's been. It's been between four and five. No way it's less than four. No way it's more than five. Anyway, this actually would have been episode 11 if that one episode didn't have the microphone it had the microphone recording. But anyway, it doesn't really matter at this point. Last time we managed to annex the rest of Algeria and not take any infamy bonus or any inf infamy penalty from it because our entire plan was never discovered. We 120 days, nothing, which is fine. Also, the Pope's revolting, two Sicilies is revolting. I have to be thinking about it. I should probably help them. But then again, that might make it harder for Italy to form at some later point. And I'm fine with that. I don't want Italy to form. Also, how much does it cost to um, pop at a country? I think it's like, I, I can't, cause it's either because they're a great power or they are just too big. Um, can I do it to Baden? I can't because apparently they like me too much. How about Wartenberg? They can't. Make Puppet? Yeah, that's only seven. So I could probably Puppet another country if I wanted to. I can't Puppet Spain because, you know... I can't, I, uh, for one, they're in my sphere, that's one issue. Two, they're allied with the British, Russia, and the, the Dutch. I don't really like that. I could probably annex, or I could probably puppet two Sicilies later if they uh, lose this rebellion, which they're going to. And having them as a puppet is better than having them as a sphere. Because unless they become a great power, they can't become. You get, you, unless it's during a war or they become great power, they can't become not your uh, puppet anymore. Also, I was only on one speed. Also, I did go back and check. Venice was formed by uh, rebels in Austria. So that's why... The, the, the reason I was questioning it was because I didn't know if rebels took over uh, land, it loses your core on it. So, like, if, um, let's say, Croatia became a country, Austria would actually lose its core, I think. I think that's how it works. I think there might be some countries where it's only Austrian. Yeah, like Austria is really only located here. Those are the only Austrian cores. But all this, I think that's actually the only part that's part of Austria. Everything else can basically be free. Austria is basically, uh, if you want to free some countries, Austria is like a giant mixing pot of random countries. Same with the northern part of the Ottoman Empire. It's all just kind of a mix mosh pit of countries. That could be countries. Other than here, I don't think... I find it weird that Turkey can't actually become a country. But, and then I guess there's Iraq, which can become a country. So, I guess that's kind of like... This is like more of the traditional Ottoman Empire right here. At least uh, in like Europa, this is basically where the Ottoman Empire basically is. It's only really right here. Also, we can probably make Greece bigger. I'm kind of thinking of like who we can go to war with. We can't go to war with uh, Ottomans, so they're allied with the British. And I don't, like I said, I don't want to deal with the British. Denmark will actually make an alliance. Sure, I'll make, I'll be in alliance with Denmark. Basically, I'm going to look at this screen and see who's being Britain not allied with. And the question is, I see a lot of people. They're not allied with most, actually. Which is good. I don't want the British in a war. Even though, I don't know how many troops the British have. They have uh, 226 brigades. That's insane. That's almost 100 more than I have. But then again, they do have a lot of troops here. They probably have a few troops in Canada. They probably have a few troops in Australia. Maybe a little bit in New Zealand. Probably not a lot, though. Cause, but I think a lot of guys are actually in India. In, I don't know how. I don't know what the likeliness of them is shipping troops over all of this. All the way around Africa is. Especially since they'll probably just drop off the troops in Madagascar because that's the closest French territory to the Indians. Except for maybe this one little territory right here, which is actually part of... You know, part of me. Maybe I should try to take more of Afri uh, India. That might be kind of interesting. Might be an interesting little thing to do later in the game. Also, we're only a few years before Great Wars can be formed. Uh, the difference between a normal war and a Great War, as far as I know, is that one, there's no white peace. I think that's one of the conditions of a Great War. Once again, I've never played this far really ahead in A Heart of Darkness. Uh, not Hard Dark, that's the next expansion. The House Divided. I will get House, uh, House uh, Hard Darkness at some point, probably during the Christmas sale, because I have not a lot of money. It's crazy, I know. And I'm going to be getting other games at some point. I don't know. 
I'll get it at some point. Probably when it's on sale for like five bucks. And then I'll probably do another Let's Play with that expansion. Probably I'll actually probably do another uh, LP of another country in just a house divided. And then probably a few more house of uh, hard largest. I really like this game. Uh, as you may be able to tell, I don't know if you can. But I really, I really like the, the Paradox Grand Strategy games. They're a lot better than, you know, I kind of first expected them to be. I don't know why I thought they might be bad at first. Any, I never would have been interested in them as much as I am. I, I'm not... I'm just going to shut up because I can't talk English, apparently. Also, can we build Ironclad yet? I don't think we've discovered it. But it might be worth checking out. No. Let's go to technology. Ironclads are somewhere in here. Yeah, 6% a year? Have comments, readers. Okay. I don't know if that's percent... 6% percent chance of getting Ironclads. That's kind of sucky. But it could be worse. Uh, culture, can't really do anything. More prestige, more research. Once again, why am I not doing the research? I keep forgetting for some reason. I don't know why. Also, over 80% literacy, pretty good. What is our likeliness of getting... What? Oh, only like 30%. What do you want? Uh, mostly uh, work hours. But even that is only like 4%. It's not a lot. So there's no huge movement to change the country radically at this point. And we're mostly at the bottom of all these, which is usually the best. It's arguably, it's probably not the best, uh, depending on how you're trying to play. And probably trying to get proportional, uh, not Jefferson method, because I don't even know what it is. I don't even, I don't really know. Um, freedom of liberty. But I kind of want proportional and I want to base on population. Those are the two things I want and those are really the two things I can really get anymore in terms of the political reforms because nobody, nobody ever wants to go up other than the reactionary because they like the old timey ways. But usually you go down, you don't go up. That's how it works basically. And we're only in the 19, or we're only in the 60s. So it makes sense that, um, only 5%, only 0.5% of people are jingoistic, that's kind of crazy. Uh, we do need a strong military. But I, are we a jingoistic nation? Yeah, we are. We are jingo, uh, jingoistic. So our country is built on war. That's the whole point of it. Are they at war with the Dutch, or are those just rebels? Those are just rebels, okay. I thought those were the Dutch. It's like, why are the Dutch invading Prussia? They are not, because that kind of be a stupid thing to do. How many troops does Austria have? 40. It's not all these guys. They have quite a bit here. I wish I told you like the, the brigade number instead of, you know, not. Uh, we will... I don't want uh, the last fear. I do want state capitalism. Is that what I... Or not... Interventionalism. I keep kind of getting the two confused. But I want what I have now. What I have now is a good method. How many troops does Prussia have? 26 brigades. It's kind of really awful. Also, a bunch of people are at war with Brazil. People are trying to get their debts back. Also, I, I should have looked up how to, what the repay debts CB did. I did not. Also, Italy formed. I just noticed. Uh, no, we need to upgrade the weapons. Italy has just... Satellite. And, they, and they're by satellite. That is fantastic. Okay. I'm probably talking a bit loudly. So Sar Sardinia and Piedmont was the main country, I guess, that formed Italy. And they're my... That's absolutely wonderful. In the biggest sense of the word. Beautiful. Lovely. How many troops does Italy have? Three. Well, you know, could be worse. What's your army tech? 11 out of 30. Oh, I didn't even know you could check that. 14 out of 30. I never... Does, do these do anything else? I, I guess I know what that one does. War exhaustion. What does Britain have? Nine, wow, they're way behind there. 10 out of th 30. So they're 10 and what am I? Eight? I'm actually not that, I'm actually ahead of Britain in that uh, regard. Yeah, I want free trade. What, so I've actually dropped the military. Is that because one of the countries is out of war? Yes, because I think the English are at war. They get extra, um, what can I not do? Increase opinion. Oh, I guess I have this. I have to do all this again. And I guess I have to do it with Brazil, too. But, uh, probably because they're at war. Because the English are at war, it probably increases their entire stats there. Which is, you know, how it works, basically. 
Ah, I just spilled some water all, around, all over the floor. Excellent. But it's like a cement floor, it doesn't really matter. I'm still kind of amazed that um, Italy became mine. It's wonderful, but Brazil... Oh, it also gave me Venice. Oh, okay. Because I guess it was cord. I, I'm, I'm absolutely in love with the fact that we got Italy. Is this still under rebel control? It is, but that's not an issue. Not an issue at all. So what, Prussia? Hmm. Try to keep an open mind. We can do nothing. So I want pluralism. I want secularized. So I'm gonna not. I'm gonna say pluralism is not what I want because I'm. Yeah, you know, I can't speak English. It's, a, it's a, I've lived my entire life speaking English. Can't speak the language actually though. Also, we're building a ton of factories. That's an insane amount of factories. Belgium decrease opinion of the Dutch. Not the UK. Actually, the UK were cordial, so I guess that's fine too. Uh, really, just not a political issue. Finland decrease opinion of the Russians even more so. There we go. They're hostile now. I could probably free Poland. Maybe I can get more fi Finnish land? Maybe more Swedish land? Yeah, Sweden's not a really allied with anybody. Placing the sun on Burma. Sure. Placing the sun. Does Burma have... Burma's over here, isn't it? They're in the Burge sphere. Placing the sun. Where do they have colonies? This is considered colonial? How is this considered a colonial province? And how is there a border incident? That makes even less sense. I have no territory over here other than this one... It's not even a, it's not even a, like a whole area. It's just one part of an area. So I don't even know. I don't even know. But that's kind of weird in any way. I could probably go to with, with Austria. And probably get more actual Italian land. I should probably free more of Italy. That seems like a good thing. Also, if I free this part of actually Italy, like these little this area, France will probably be written all across that, which will just mm, I love it. I absolutely adore it. Uh, movements. There's some rebels. Nope. Like five thousand people. That's that's not a, that's no reason to do anything about that. I'm gonna go with uh, war with Austria. I'm gonna try to free the people of um. Italy. We'll probably get a lot of Italian cores if we do really good. Because, uh, free people is only three infamy. I can almost do it like four times in Austria. And because I'm planning to go with war with Austria, I should probably re get more guys down here. I like guess 21 can probably go down somewhere over here. Was that Alexandria? No, no, it's not. Okay, I was wondering. Lou, uh, host the World's Fair. I, yeah, sure. We are the greatest country in the world. Well, we're the second greatest country. But it doesn't really matter. Greatness is in the eye of the beholder. And in my eyes, I am number one. Nobody beats me. Research point 50. I can't get that one. Uh, reinforcements. That sounds like a good idea. But I probably won't. Re we should probably increase the railroad system. Uh, Burma. Why does Burma hate us so much? I don't know. We almost have 40 points per turn. I think that's a lot. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, now we can get ironclads. Excellent. Build navy. We are going to need to get a lot of ironclads. Europe? Asia? Oh, that's, I guess, um... Yeah, yeah, the Indian province. But we're going to go with Worth Austria. Uh, when was, is that going to be done? It's going to be done in 81 days. Still not discovered. Even the, even then, it's only going to be like 1.5 at this point. So it's not even a big deal. Brazil, Argentina? Yeah, Argentina is becoming a major powerhouse. 15... Yeah, they're the major powerhouse in South America right now. I don't think anyone else even comes close to them. But Chile actually kind of does. Uh, what's there? Seven brigades. Yeah, 1.2. Not that bad. Uh, four, actually. Why is their point so much higher if they're only four? Do they have a lot of tech? Eight out of 30? Does Chile only have, like, nothing? Like, two or something? Six, okay. 
I'm not too sure. Brazil, what does Brazil have? They're at six. So are any of these countries over here? Oh, uh, Japan's westernized. Oh, so let me look at my relationships right now. France, kind of hated by the everyone in the, you know, the west or the east. No one cares about the east though. It's all about the west, baby. All about the west. And in the west, I'm doing quite fine. Everyone loves me. Other than Bolivia, but they're, you know, who cares? And I guess that's Spain too. Okay. Consciousness. I have one percent more mil uh, socialist. I don't care. So Japan's uh, westernized. Where's the West civilization level? And not a lot of China's becoming westernized. Like most of it's probably still primitive, isn't it? No, actually, none of it's primitive still. But the North is slightly forty-five percent of the way there. But, uh, so, but Japan's probably going to become a major powerhouse pretty soon. Because they're at... Yeah, they're ninth already. It's crazy. Like, they... Because they're not... Uh, how are they ninth? How do they, oh, they have a huge military score. But usually, like, Japan, China, they will become major powerhouses once they hit the... Um, once they become westernized. Also, declare war free people of Italy. Italy, Italy, Italy. What province is this? Lombardia, okay. Declare war f uh, for the free people of Italy. For Lombardia. 15. Will everyone join the war? Likely, likely. Yeah, almost. Okay, other than Baden. Or Baden. Baden? I don't know. Almost everyone will come to this war. And then we could probably. Can I start justifying another war? We have to wait until the 18th. Okay. So we're gonna try to justify even more claims for the Italy. Or for the Italians. So who am I at war with? Just Austria, I think? Yeah, so Austria's at war with all this. I'm at, they, yeah, they're, they look outnumbered. But then again, it's kind of hard to tell because I'm only judging that based on the land. Let's just try to crush all of this. Also, they probably, did they mobilize? No, they already have 12 brigades. Okay. Greece, Bavaria, Belgium, Norway, Finland, Denmark, everyone joined. And Bavaria's a great power. Okay. Earlier, I think it was actually probably last episode, so it doesn't really even apply anymore. Also, Baden actually went to war with us. They're jerks. Um, let me just look at the diplomatic. Yeah, so they're at war with even up here. Yeah, they're at war with a lot of people. So that's excellent. And I really, really like what it says right there. Uh, Brazil's accusing has accusing us of things we've we've never heard about. Have they lost that war? Lost that battle? I think they did. So we shall send this 37 force there to attack them. This 21 can probably go up to Chur and then go down or something. So they mobilized, they have. Mobilizing 46, that's actually crazy. They went like three times up their entire army limit. That means they probably did too. 79, no. I think we still outnumber them with just a small French force. I can't be 100% sure on that, by the way. Oh, and now these guys can actually become of use. So, you know, we can actually finally get these guys out of the country. Also, we should probably start um, just finding another free people cost a belly on them. So they're at war with even Greece. Yeah, there are a lot of people. Why are the Americans over here? They're at war with the Ottomans. Probably something about Egypt. Uh, yeah, something about Egypt. It's crazy. But this is a absolutely massive war against the, uh, the, the Austrians. Look at that. Almost five. Italy is actually a major powerhouse. Oh, but they, they are going to become a great power. I should have seen this coming. I don't know why I didn't. Yeah, but they're going to become a great power. Mm. I'm going to get this military access right now. Hopefully, I get against Gran Colombia. By the UK. Wait, Gran Colombia is a country? Venezuela has become Gran Colombia? There's Colombia and Gran Colombia. And there's, but there's still one tiny part of Venezuela. I don't even understand that. So the British are trying to free Venezuela, I guess, from the Grand Colombians, which is technically the Venezuelans. I don't even know what's going on over there. But hopefully I can try to keep up a lasting relationship with Italy. I don't see why it would be a difficult issue. Get those guys up there. But hopefully Italy will just try to be my longtime friend in all the wars that come. 
Because they are going to become great powers. There's no way they're not. Germany still hasn't become a country, which is nice. I should have... Okay, I realize I'm dumb. Because I said, as you may, as you may remember, I said not helping the two Sicilies with their rebel problem would probably help me with making sure Italy doesn't form. The exact opposite was actually true. If I actually helped with those rebels, we wouldn't be in this situation with Italy. Italy is going to become great, great, great power, probably kicking out Bavaria. The Netherlands. Okay, I'm fine with that. I don't care about the Netherlands at all. But we are taking land. Excellent. Uh, 50 fish. Uh, we have, like, no militancy. I'm pretty sure militancy doesn't even matter until, like, like 5 anyway. So it doesn't... So it's fine. It's all good in that regard. Let's get our troops. Let's get, let's get them all together. And then we'll destroy these uh, Austrians. Hopefully we get there before they take Munich. And we did. Excellent. We'll reinforce there. We will push into Leans. I don't even know how you pronounce that. 1.4. Nice. Oh, they're going here. Hmm. So we got some Austrians over here, but they're being taken care of by the Italians. I don't know when Bavir the Netherlands are going to fall out of favor. At some point they are. I'm surprised Bavaria is actually not the one falling out of power. Oh, we might need to help these guys. Baden. Yeah, sure. Wait. Bavaria's annex Baden? Who annex ba Bavaria did. Oh, okay. Well, they didn't even mean to do that, but, you know, if you want to, go ahead. We should outfit an expedition. We should, indeed, ex uh, get an expedition out there. Oh, yeah, they're definitely going to lose that battle. And we're going to win this battle, hopefully. We are in the lead. Mont Montero Diego. That, is that here? No, or is that... No, it's this tiny little country over here. Is this country ever... Can this country even do anything? I think this might be the only country that can form Yugoslavia. Not too sure, though. Nasu goes bankrupt. I don't care about Nasu. We won another battle. We crushed the Austrian. How many troops does the Austrian have now? 59 brigades, actually, still. So that's still a pretty sizable force. But the Swiss are taking here, so we'll go here. These 27 can go here. I don't know how many times I've actually been at war with Austria in my entire Vicky 2 camp. Or... Uh, in my entire history of Victoria 2, I've always been at war with Austria. Austria's always been, like, my mortal enemy in this game. I don't know why. It's probably because I was, like, playing as Prussia. Prussia's a nice country to play as. And Austria's always an easy target to take out, at, take out as, you know, Prussia. Yeah, we're definitely doing a big... Yeah, we've already won. Baden acquired... Why are they trying to free Baden? Also, did I get that other out of war goal? Can I? Did I? Or I have not justified the war yet. I guess I haven't. Uh, have not. Okay, because Italy is going to become a great power, and it's inevitable that it's going to become a great power, and there's no way to stop that. I am going to have to free countries other than Italy, because I only got Italy just to make this nice long, you know, France. But that's not going to happen anymore, is it? Because you know, Netherlands. 168 points. 188. Nothing's not that far behind. So we're definitely going to free... Okay, we have another free people against them. So who can I free? I could probably free Poland. Czechoslovakia is a possibility. I'm trying to look. I'm just going to like who is biggest in terms of... Which, why am I clicking all these? Which one is region? This, there we go. So where's a big territory? This is a pretty big territory right here. Because I'm trying. Because when you free people, you're not actually like directly benefiting you. You're just weakening them. So I think I'm trying to weaken uh, Austria. A good point. So I'm gonna try maybe take Czechoslovakia. Take this one place from them. Make sure Prussia doesn't take it. I think it'll put put them in my sphere. So I'll take that maybe for Czechoslovakia. Or maybe from Bohemia, Bavaria. Because I can then take this for them, too. But I can get that for Poland. I don't know. I'm going to take that for the Czechs. I'm going to take another territory for the Polish. That's not nothing here. 
I don't know, I'm trying to look. Where are good territories to take? This is a nice area. For That's also Czechoslovakia. Maybe I'll take these two for Czechoslovakia, and then maybe I'll, maybe I'll take three for Czechoslovakia, depending on how the war goes. Uh, uh, demand another war goal. We're gonna free Czechoslovakia. Czechoslovakia. It's not actually listed here. I don't know why. It's probably for the same reason that you can't free Italy. So we can't do that for Czechoslovakia. I can do it for Bohemia and Bavaria. And then they can also get this land. Right? Yeah, okay. I'll free that for, for Bohemia and Bavaria. And that is where? That is in... I'll pause again. That is Bohemia. Okay. Ah, stop that. So for one, we're going to just fight another... Oh, we can't actually even get another free people. Probably because I have to do this. Bohemia, Bavaria, and Bohemia. I guess the two... Okay, never mind. Makes perfect sense. Makes sense that the two t territories that Bohemia and Bavaria gets are Mo Bohemia and Bavaria. I know, it's insanity when you think about it. So we're doing... Yeah, we're definitely going to win this war. I can't see a reason why we're going to lose. Like, we definitely outnumber them. Like, ex so by so much, it's insane. Like, other than the, right there, we're going to lose. But, you know, that doesn't even really matter. Like, anyone else throwing... Other than I... Other than me, no one's actually throwing anything on them. Right? Someone else might throw... Territory on them, but I don't know if that's possible. I don't know if it's going to happen. Wenberg... I should probably... Maybe I should try and get that for... Um... But, uh, for Bavaria. Just so it doesn't look as stupid that Bavaria's all like, bleh. You know, it looks very bleh from this angle. And now we got another guy that we can send up somewhere probably here. Is, that, is anyone getting that territory? No one actually is. Why not? Oh, wait, wait. That's a big army. That is a big army, and I don't want to engage with that at the moment. We'll engage it later. But not right now. Oh, never mind. They're going to engage us. So we're definitely going to send troops here. Let's try to make sure we don't lose there. Also, can I get another Just Fight War free people? Yes. So even my two... like That's only like halfway. I'm not even too, I'm not too sure. It might be a little bit more than halfway. And we have, don't even have any of the Bohemia territories yet. Oh, now we're actually winning. There we go. See, that's what you get for dealing with the Frenchmen. You, you deal with the French, you get the horns. You know, that's the thing, right? And our ironclads are finally finishing the build. Or fi finally building. Or finishing. Well, a lot of them are going to... But within a year, they'll all be done. Let's see, any other major battles going on? Nope. We'll go down here. We'll make sure these guys stay, though. We'll crush all Austrian resistance. There's a lot of... Italy's doing a great job, by the way. Italy is not yet its own country. Yeah, no, they are definitely... I don't know how long. I think it takes about a year. So I don't know how long it'll take. Is that, the, is that a naval battle? It is. Those are just Austrian transports. They're going to get destroyed. There's no way they're not. Just got to make sure all my troops are kind of being in good positions. Morale's gone up. Let's make sure my guys are spreading out effectively. And they are. Okay. Point three. Things are happening. Good things are happening. Oh, wait. They're taking here. Let's go back up to there and take make sure they don't take it. It's kind of important. Saxony. They want military access. Are they worth anyone? No. They're not. Also, what are we at? We're only at 29%. I don't know how. Like, I feel like we should be much higher than we are. 50%. So, 42 if we take all that. And they won't even take a 8-point peace offer. That's kind of insane that they won't. And we, got, and we got discovered for another free people, cost of belly, but that doesn't really matter. We'll make sure these Italians don't lose. Actually, the Italians are going to make sure the Italians don't lose. That's fine. So where are they retreating off to? So actually, the Bavarians are following them. But I'll, I'll make sure that they don't lose. Because they're about equal numbers. And I don't, well, they, the morale is much higher for the Bavarians, so it makes sense that they wouldn't lose. 
We're doing really, really good. Where are they going? There. We're doing really good in this war. And Rebels are starting to take over, what is that, Croatia? I think, yeah, Croatia, I'm pretty sure it's going to form off that. There's Denmark, and there's Greece. Look, everyone's helping out. Everyone's doing their act. Sign a Geneva Convention? I will indeed assign a Geneva Convention, because I will lose an infamy point. And that's always nice. Yeah, and our ironclad for finishing building. Anyone else throwing war goals? I'm fine. You know, other countries, throw war goals on. I don't care. We, I'll make sure everyone who fights in this war gets a little slice of their Austrian pie. I hate that we keep being on the same territory, me and the Italians. Because we're not spreading out as effectively as we could be. Yeah, and there we go once again. Brazil, can we put them in our sphere yet, or is it just increased relations? Wait, wait. They're in the... They're in the... When are they... I can't decrease opinion. I don't know. Apparently, they're in the Dutch sphere. That's an issue. That's a major issue. Actually, it's not really a major issue. Brazil's never really useful in the slightest. And right now, everything's going good. We're actually not even taking a lot of parts of the... Um... Let me just see. Let me just look at the population density of Austria. They're all, like, here. A lot of the Austrians are here. I think that's their capital, too, isn't it? Yeah, so we're almost at their capital. And if once the enemy takes your capital, that's basically when you know you've lost the war. Just give up now. There's no point even trying anymore. Austria, decline, because I need more than that. Like, we've got, we're too far, Austria, to just settle at that. And then we'll probably get Moveria for Bohemian Moveria. We'll have a nice little country here. It'll become part of me. It won't become part of me. It'll just become, um, you know. You know what I'm saying? I don't. Bohemo Moveria, we'll take Moveria to 41. Sure, enter. And look, that's still not even all the war score. We can even probably still add another thing on top of that. You know, let's increase our opinion in Brazil. They'll probably, we'll probably get dropped down like instantly. Acceptable pensions, acceptable minimum wage. Do people want more pension or do they want more wages? Let me see. Pension, pension, pension. Yeah, we're already at that. So pension at 0.7. No, it's actually at, they actually want acceptable. That's actually way high up. Do I want... That's actually insanity. What we're going to go with... Uh, that we jumped from no to acceptable. That's like the huge insane, like a giant boost in that whole regard. Gotta make sure we're, once again, we're spreading out effectively. I don't know how well we're doing it, in all honesty. Maybe I should try to take a province for myself, but I kind of want another country to like throw a war goal on. It's kind of surprising that most of these are actually under my control and not under Italy's. So I don't know if other countries taking stuff increases the chances that they're going to, you know, help. These are things I am not 100% aware of. So like if, like, because, um, what is this, Bavaria, because they took over a lot of this, I don't know if it's more likely that they'd ask for that, but I know they're not getting that because, well, you know, I'm giving that to Bohemia Bavaria when that becomes a country. And it will be, because I'm getting 100% war score and there's no way I'm not. I'm not giving up in this war. Let's go to Vienna. Uh, they're going to lose that battle, obviously. Kind of sucks for them. And then they're doing all that good work down there. Good, thank you, thanks a lot, uh, Denmark. You're doing good. You're doing your country proud, or at least my country. Your country's fine, I guess. Uh, tax finches to see, we will increase, oh, maybe I don't. Maybe I want input, or I don't know, the like classical theory? That's fine too. Actually, but very, uh, they actually won that. I'm surprised. We won, we won. That's excellent. Are we at the max for battles? We are. So now it's all just taking stuff over. How many troops does the uh, Austria have now? They are at, nope, that's Newfoundland. That's completely different. Uh, Austria, they might be, they're probably pretty low, 36. Our troops are all spreading out nice. Actually, no one's taking this territory. I'm kind of surprised. 
So someone else is probably going to march in there at some point. Is Italy a great power yet? It might not change uh, hands until this war's over, but I cannot tell. For certain, this is probably going to be a very long episode because of this war. And I don't really want to stop until I win. 55%. And those are all me. Come on, other countries, throw something on here. Don't be all like that. Oh, so we're going to take huge prestige hits if we lose. That's another issue. Let me see. 18. You can go into... Oh, help the, help the Danish. Help the Danish. They need our help. My voice is starting to go out. That's kind of... That's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's acceptable. It's not... It, it kind of hurts a lot. But, you know, it's fine. Once again, Spain's in another revolution. Are these Arcno liberals? They are. Arcno liberals always like to cause a huge problem. Also, we gain another core. So where are we gaining these cores now? In Spain. Oh, we actually got a Spanish core. So I, I find it weird. We're, we're coring this, but this is probably... Yeah, because it's colonial. We probably can't core it. Anyway. We have two French guys here, so we don't want that. We don't want to stack. Stacking is bad. Because it limits how quickly we take everything. Once again, spread out, spread out. We've got to make sure we're as spread out as thinly as possible so we can be as effective as possible. Anyone else? I want someone else to throw a war goal. I want somebody else to, you know, do something. Like, have a, here you go. Have a nice little bonus. Austria, no. You're not, I'm only surrendering under my own terms because I don't trust your terms. I'm going to unsubsidize everything because I think I'm paying about 500 in subsidies. And I don't have to be. Kaboom! Excellent. That probably got a... No, we're only playing 160. It's fine. Yeah, I guess because I cancelled the subsidies. Makes sense. So, the, the territories we took over are actually starting to rebel against us. They're, and they're Arkna Liberals. Of course they are. When are they not Arkna Liberals? That's a question that will... It's never. That's the answer. It's never. Other than... Other, unless it's communists or fascists, it's always Arkna Liberals. Everyone else seems happy about their place in life. <sighs> did they go back to number 8? They actually did! So, 179 to 184. Italy, Italy has actually dropped once again. Which is fine, it's actually reset the entire process of the becoming a great power. And I'm fine for having Italy under my control as long as possible, because they are a very, very powerful ally. Like, 700 points in total. Finland's useless. I don't think Finland even has any troops yet. Oh, and Sweden's under... Sweden's actually being attacked, or at least destroyed by liberals. There probably are liberals too, aren't they? Are no liberals? Oh no, they're actually reactionaries. That's that's. It's a nice little change of pace. Also, we're almost in 1970. We can almost get machine guns, and that'll allow us to start colonizing Africa, because nothing allows you to colonize faster than shooting everybody to death with a machine gun. The most effective way, and we'll save all of our points just until we get to 1870. Are we doing good? We are doing good. Is anyone else throw- I want somebody else to throw a war goal. I don't like having no war goal. Also, we need to take the rest of my, uh, my hair. Uh, what's this called? Not Galatia. Bavaria. We need to take the rest of that, basically. Because I want- I want someone else to start throwing things on. Because one time, I- uh, I guess the French reactionaries have two provinces. Like, that's no issue at all. Where is this? Even this 15 guy I can just go boop, boop, and then they're, they're basically solved. They're just not, I'm done with them. No, yeah, okay. I was wondering why I had no research. It's like, I just talked two seconds ago why I had no research. Let's go to Budapest. I didn't know Budapest was actually in um, Austria. Fun fact, I learned. We are just, we are just dominating in this war. Does Austria have any troops left? They have 11 brigades. I don't even know where they have these 11 brigades, but they're somewhere. There we go. Italy has actually thrown more war goals. So it's kind of nice to see that. It and Italy is still not a great power because of reset. Yes. They might get a lot of prestige from this. Can I just throw all of my demands on them? They would. 86... 
That's a lot. And the, yeah, and they're only getting cores, right? Acquired core, acquired core. Bo Italy, Bohemia, Bohemia. So we're making Italy and Bohemia stronger. And then that is that. Italy. It's I started satellite it. And it'd be a good It just instantly became a great power. I don't know why, it just instantly became a great power though. So let's just pull all of our troops back. Hopefully yeah, our relationship is like perfectly like at the top. Free people? Is Spain actually going to try to free the Ottomans? I've never seen that happen. Austria's getting squished up. But that, I feel like, was a really good war. I feel like that went was very, very swimmingly. So I'm going to end the episode here. Thanks everybody for watching. My name is Ben If you've enjoyed, thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy, thumbs down. Subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, all that other stuff, you know, things that people say at the end of videos. Goodbye.